In this video, you're going to learn step-by-step -step how to install the Ubuntu Linux operating system on your laptop. We'll go through the entire process together, from downloading the system and creating a bootable USB, to setting up the BIOS and finishing the installation. If you follow every step carefully, by the end of this video, you'll have a fully working Ubuntu system ready to use. Step 1. Downloading Ubuntu. We start with the first step. Downloading the operating system itself. Open your web browser and go to the official Ubuntu website, ubuntu.com slash download. Here you'll see several versions available, but for most users, the recommended version is Ubuntu Desktop LTS, which is the most stable and receives long-term support. Click the download button and wait for the .iso file to fully download. It's usually around four to five gigabytes in size. Once the download is complete, you'll have a file named something like Ubuntu 24.04 Desktop AMD 64.ISO. Step 2. Creating a bootable USB with Rufus. Now that we have the ISO file, the next step is to put it on a USB flash drive so we can use it for installation. Download the program Rufus from its official website, rufus.ie. Then plug in a USB flash drive with at least eight gigabytes of space into your laptop. Open Rufus and follow these steps. Under device, select your USB drive. Under boot selection, click select and choose the ISO file you downloaded. Under partition scheme, choose GPT if your laptop uses UEFI, most modern laptops, or MBR if it uses legacy B iOS. Leave the file system as FAT32. Once you've checked everything, click Start and confirm that you want to format the USB. Wait a few minutes for Rufus to finish creating the bootable USB. Once it's done, your USB is ready for installation. Step three, preparing the laptop for installation. To do this, turn off your laptop and power it back on. Then press one of these keys immediately, F2, F10, F12, DEL, or ESC, depending on your laptop brand. Restart the device and it should boot from the USB. After a few seconds, you'll see the Ubuntu installation menu. You'll have two options, try Ubuntu without installing to test it out first, or install Ubuntu to start the installation. Choose install Ubuntu. Now we'll go through the installation steps, which include several configuration options. First, select your language. Next, choose your keyboard layout. Then decide whether you want a normal installation, which includes basic applications, or a minimal installation, which includes fewer programs. At this stage, you can also enable the option to download updates while installing. Next is installation type, where you decide how Ubuntu will be installed. You have a few options. Erase disk and install Ubuntu. This will delete everything and install Ubuntu. Install alongside Windows as if you want dual boot. Something else for manual disk partitioning. For beginners, the first option, 
erase disk and install Ubuntu is recommended. If you choose automatic partitioning, click install now and confirm the changes. If you choose manual partitioning, make sure to create a root partition with at least 30 gigabytes of space. Next, select your time zone and then enter your user information, your name, computer name, username, and password. Step six, installation and restart. Now the installation process will begin. Ubuntu will copy files, install the system, and configure everything automatically. This can take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes, depending on your computer's speed. When the installation is complete, you'll see a message that says installation complete. Click restart now. When your laptop restarts, remove the USB when prompted. Congratulations, Ubuntu is now successfully installed on your laptop. When the login screen appears, enter the password you created and log into your brand new Linux operating system. And that's it. This was the complete step-by-step -step guide on how to install Ubuntu on your laptop. If this video was helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for more useful tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.